Hi teachers, in this video, we're gonna talk through a couple of hacks that can help you help students retrieve work in Google Classroom that accidentally gets deleted in some way, shape or form. Now, this video is going to focus on Google Slides, Sheets, Drawings, and Docs. Unfortunately, these hacks aren't going to work for Google Forms because Google Forms works very differently than Google's primary apps. So we're going to take a look at an assignment in Google Classroom from the teacher perspective where the teacher has attached a template for students to complete. Now, notice I have a couple of students that have no attachments, they haven't even started this assignment, and then I have two students with attachments. We're gonna take a look at the child instructional technology first from that student perspective. Now, one of the ways that students' work gets, quote, deleted from Google Classroom is students actually come up to the section where it says your work and accidentally hit the X here. Now, they have two options on the student side of things. They can click make a copy or they can add that file back from their drive. Now, make a copy is going to take that template, make a brand new copy of that template that the teacher assigned, but the problem is, is the template is going to be blank. Now, this is great if a student really didn't do any work, but it doesn't do anything if the student's already completed this work. And in this case, the student has already completed the work. In order for the student to get back their template, all they need to do is click Add, select Google Drive, go to My Drive, and go in their Classroom folder. Their Classroom folder is going to have every file created through Google Classroom, regardless of whether or not it is attached currently to an assignment. So if I click NOCS template, here I can see that file right here. I can select it and insert. Now, if I am a teacher in this case and my child has removed or my student has completely removed their file, I will probably want to Google Meet with them and walk them through these steps. Unfortunately, a teacher can't add back a file to a student's Google Classroom assignment if the student has removed it from the Google Classroom assignment. Luckily, you can follow these same steps when you Google Meet with the student. Have them share their screen with you have them go into the assignment in Google Classroom. So as a student, I am the teacher saying, okay, we're gonna go into classwork and we're gonna find that assignment where things are missing. I'm going to click view assignment. And if the student doesn't see that assignment here, then I will want, I will want to click add or create Google Drive and then select, um, my classroom folder and find the assignment there. Now let's take a look at the teacher side. What can the teacher do if the student accidentally deleted all the slides in the assignment? They haven't removed the, the attachment, but they deleted all the slides. This happens a lot with younger students. They'll go in, they don't realize they've selected a bunch of things and all of a sudden there are no slides left. This also happens when you're doing group projects and you have multiple students working on the slideshow. So I am on the teacher side of things now. On the teacher side of things, I can click on instructional technology, this student, and bring up this view of their work. You're probably familiar with this view because this is where you grade student assignments. This is also where you can restore work from a student. Now, in order to do this, I don't even need the student to be on a Google Meet with me. I don't need the student to log in. I can do this 100% from my teacher Google Classroom. When I'm in this graded view, I can see, actually, we're just gonna do some deleting right now. Oh no, the student only has the title slide left in their file. They've deleted everything else. As a teacher, I click the drop down up here and I select last edit or whatever words are underlined next to the help. Sometimes it says last saved. If you hover over it, it's going to say open version history and you're going to want to open the version history. Now I can scroll through this version history and I can see everything from the beginning and all of the changes made to this. I can see when I created it as a teacher, but as I'm looking through this, I don't see any of the student work. I can see, oh, the student has put a triangle here. They put a triangle here. 
And then this is where I deleted some things. And I can see that my coloring shows up different than the students. So I would want to navigate to the version that has all of the things that the student wants back and simply click restore this version and select restore. The student didn't need to do anything. Now, when the student goes in on their account, all of their slides are back and they can continue working. Now there's another little hack and I wish I would have known this one when I was teaching in the classroom, but I didn't find out until later. Sometimes, especially when you have group projects in Google Slides or you have a student working and then stopping and, and lots of different changes are happening to that document, Sometimes you are looking at the restore versions going, well, I want a piece of this version and a piece of this version and a piece of this version. I don't want to restore everything to a single version <coughs> because then some students are going to lose work and some students are going to um, have all their work. So I can piece and take little pieces of what I want. So I'm going to find the version where I want my first piece. And let's say I just want slide three from here. I'm going to copy this slide. It wants me to use control V or control C. So I can select this slide. I can even select multiple slides by holding down control and clicking on multiple sides. And I can do control C. I don't click restore version history. I hit the back arrow and I come back in here and I hit control V and it pastes that work from the version history. So that way you can pull work from multiple students or multiple different times and compile that back into your final slideshow. This is great when um, you are doing some type of class book and you have Johnny delete a whole bunch of stuff, but Susie's finished everything. And if you restore Johnny's things, you've now deleted Susie's things. That can be a problem. But copying and pasting just what is needed from the version history any aspect of the version history can help you restore all of the pieces that you need in your document. This also works in Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Drawings. You'd want to copy the, the pieces as opposed to the whole slide or the section. So I also don't have to copy everything on that slide or that section. I can go back into my version history and let's say they just deleted, and I just need this shape. I can just select this shape, oops. I can just select this shape, Control C, go back, and I could even be on a different slide, and I can paste in just that shape. So this works with just images, or it works with text as well. This is great for Google Docs when writers are working and they've edited and deleted and gone through multiple versions of things and you want to kind of piece together all of the great parts that they have. If you have any questions about this, don't hesitate to reach out. It can be a little confusing at first, but this will save you lots of time and your students and it will make your Google Classroom less confusing with all of these different versions of assignments recreated for students.